Hello everybody, welcome back to The Walking Dead Definitive Series. We are here today with another gameplay, and last episode we opened the barn and found some weird things in there. It looks like they are... They told us it was for hunting, but uh, we'll see. This episode we're going to see where this wire is leading and get right back into the story. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Bunch of diplomas, a blue ribbon, baseball trophy, scratch marks. Walkers are getting through that thing. I guess not. So they just blocked off the whole back door, I see. Here's the medicine cabinet. Alright, bottle, shaving cream. Nothing too suspicious. There is this wire that's going upstairs, though. Man, it would be so hard to sneak on these stairs. With the lit dining room right there? How, do, how would they not hear me? Also, why is it so silent in that dining room? Is everybody just sitting there, not talking? That's a little weird. Okay. So we can open this door here. We can also open this door over here. Let's have a look at this door. Okay, power cord. Should we connect it? I don't know why we would. What the hell? We've got a secret room, it looks like. Okay, trash can, towel, medicine supplies, morphine. They've got a lot of medical supplies. That is for dang sure. Alright, let's check out this bedroom door. We've got some blood stains on the floor here. A bed. Anything else to look at? Nope. All right, let's go ahead and look at this bookshelf then. A hidden door. Look at that. Why would they have a cord going through the house leading right to their secret little door? That's that's just silly, man. That's that's you asking to get caught. Oh my gosh, dude. Mark. What the hell happened? Brothers. What the hell happened to your legs, man? Don't eat dinner. Oh no. Clementine, don't eat the meat. Don't do it, Clementine. We can't have her eating the meats. It's nasty. Oh, she's about to eat. She's about to eat. Don't eat that. Lee, Jesus, man. Duck's just going at it, dude. Oh, sit your ass down, Lee. This lady has made you a meal. Yeah, Lee. What's gotten into you? He just had a start. You were eating human meat. Human meat. That's crazy. What the hell? Ridiculous. Uh, scaring the kids, Lee. Lee, what the hell is wrong with you? Don't indulge him, Lily. There's always something with this guy. Uh, they're picking us up yeah, off to I trade his meat. Go upstairs and have a look. What is going on? Go upstairs and look. You'll find a guy with both of his legs hacked off. This is a dairy, not a ranch. Think about it. Everything could have turned out okay for you folks. He would have died anyway. We gotta think about living. Settle down. He wouldn't have died with an Welcome arrow in his shoulder. Rural, Georgia. You're taught not to waste. It's how I was raised and how I raised my boss. Now, you got monsters roaming around that do nothing but eat people. And for what? To continue to rot till they eat some more. We think we can put that meat to better use. Just let us go. We want to get out of here. Andy is right. We go after folks who were gonna die anyways, one way or another. Like y'all. Clementine, run! Yeah, we gotta get. Nobody's hopefully, we can get her out of there. Oh, or not? Okay. We got lots of use for y'all right here. What the? 
What? The fucking black Put your fuck? guns down! We're walking you out of here! Near my fucking I, family. I don't want to die. Somebody do something, we're screwed. I eat. Everyone, everything will be okay. Lee? Lee? Oh, hell no. Oh, hell no. Let go of her, you son of a bitch! And there's Mark. Here's the proof that they wanted. Is he a Zampy? I mean, we did we did just talk to... Oh, there we go, okay. Dang. This is quite a rude awakening right here. I will tear you fuckers apart with my bare hand. We gotta find another way out of here. Ooh. Yo, shit, fucking bastard. Oh my gosh. Now we've got puke in the room here. God damn it. I will knock the goddamn door down. It it was a person. They tried to make us eat a person. But you didn't do it. No. The rest of us did, goddammit! If you hadn't dragged your feet... Come on, Dad. Now's not the time. You okay? What happened? Is there a way out? You okay, Clementine? They, they didn't hurt you, did they? Mm -mm. Open up! Lee, those psychos have my family, and we're stuck in a damn meat locker! We gotta get the fuck out of here! I'm scared. Don't be. It's gonna be okay. I'm gonna find us a way out of here. All oh, right, he's just going ape. He needs to. He needs to so settle down. I'll break that damn door down. Dad, you can't get. Oh dear, already. Easy. Oh come on, man. Dad. <laughs> dude, immediately. Lily can still save him. Maybe you're right. We can't kill him if he's not dead. We can't kill him if he's not dead, Kenny. Remember how hard it was for you to get that monster off of Katya? And Larry's twice his size. It's him or us. Look, Kenny, back at the drugstore when we all thought Duck was bitten, I gave him the benefit of the doubt. Maybe we should do the same now. That was different. Duck wasn't bitten. But come on! We know this guy's not gonna make it. Remember what Ben said. We gotta destroy the brain. <laughs> Come on, Lee. You can't be in the middle on this one. You gotta have my back this time. I why? God damn it, Lee! I need you. Please help me. Now I have to choose again. Come on, Dad. Come on. Let's help, Lily. Please. Let, Is he I don't want to. I don't no. want to do that. No, I don't think so. Okay, let me take over. Keep checking his pulse. I'm sorry, Kenny. Oh my gosh, he's gonna do it anyways. Are you stupid? He's gonna turn. What? You're putting all of us at risk, you Three. son of a bitch. You're fucking worthless. Oh. No! Well, now he's dead. What the fuck? I'm so sorry. I just. It had to be done. You don't know that. Yes, I do, Lee. And so do you. I was counting on you, man. Yeah, well, I mean. I'm sorry. I know. Don't you fucking touch me! <laughs> At least it wasn't Lee. Are you okay? Is it over? Yeah, just don't look uh, at the middle of the room. Not yet. We still have to find a way out of here. Shh. I know. I know. But you gotta be strong right now. I need you to be strong. Think about something else. Something hopeful. Like what? Uh, getting out of here a safe place. Your walkie-talkie. 
Those pretend talks with your mom and dad, don't those make you feel better? Sometimes. We're gonna get out, right? You found a way out? I'm working on it. Man, that Larry guy, he died. He, he died quick. I mean, that was uh, sudden. Out of nowhere. I doubt Lily wants to talk to us. He was still alive, Lee. He was still alive. You've got to think about your own life. Larry was a good father. Kenny was trying to keep us safe. Kenny, he made a bad call. It was premature for sure, but he was trying to keep us safe. Oh, shit. He cares about keeping his family safe. He doesn't give a shit about you and he me. He puts his family first, sure. Just like Larry did. Alright, well, at least she's not angry with us. Let's talk to Kenny, see if he is. I don't want to hear it, Lee. You think I like doing what I did? I'm the guy who couldn't bear to watch the family dog get put down. But if we want to survive this shit, we gotta have the balls to do the hard thing. Or at least one of us has got to. Oh dear. What now? We've got to work together. Could you kill Katja or Duck? You talk a big game, but could you do the hard thing if it was Katja or Duck? It's never gonna come to that. Not if I have anything to do with it. For all we know, the St. John's might have... No! They, they need Katja, remember? She's the whole reason they brought us here. And no doubt they're using Duck as a bargaining chip. I hope you're right. I know I'm right. I just gotta get to him. That's all. Alright, well, we talked to Kenny. Let's try to find a way out of here. There is an air conditioner right here. an air duct behind this unit. Maybe big enough for one of us to fit through. Does the air conditioner come off? I think I could take it off if I had something to remove the screws. Yeah, I was gonna say, I still have that multi tool. Of course. Oh, or not. Maybe there's something else we could use. I've got a rock. Ah, a rock won't help. But a coin might do the trick. Do you have a coin? Mm -mm. Hmm. I remember Larry saying something about coins. Maybe we can ask Lily for Larry's coins? I mean, I don't want to. Please. I need to be alone. alone. Girl, we're all trapped in here right now. Knows you deserve time to grieve, Lily. But if we're going to get out of here, we need your help. And Larry's. I think I may have found a way out of here. But I need something to remove the screws on the air conditioner. If you had something I could use as a screwdriver or a coin or something. No. What about him? Look, I know this is a terrible time for it, but back at the motor inn, Larry, Larry mentioned something about keeping coins in his pockets. What do you want? My blessing to loot his corpse? Your permission. <sighs> do what you have to do. I mean, Lily, look. We're all trapped in here. This is the only way I can think of to get us out. Your dad lost his temper and any idea which pocket he keeps us changing. Man, that would be hard to witness, I'm telling you. Now let's go ahead and search this pocket right here. Huh. He still carried his wallet. It's kinda of funny. Here we go. Two quarters and a dime. Nice! We got the change we need. I don't know why we took all of it, but whatever. Just gotta remove these screws and get this unit off. All right, let's do it, Lee. Let's get those screws off. Let's get this guy off first. A Georgia coin, Georgia. Hurry the fuck up, Lee. We don't have all day here. Guy, look, <laughs> you should not be speaking right now. <laughs> Kenny should not be speaking. It's too small to fit through. We don't know where it leads. Clementine can fit. Clementine can fit through. Looks like it'll probably lead right into that back room. You don't have to do this. You think you can do this? I know you're brave enough. Go quickly. You uh, think you can do this? I'm scared. It's okay to be scared. We need you, Clementine. <sighs> okay. Well, that didn't take much convincing. <laughs> Clementine's got this. You're gonna be fine. See if you can get to the other side of that door and open it. Uh, 
That's pretty loud. Kenny, I don't take your side Lily. once and you're throwing a fit. <laughs> Lily, I'm sorry. We gotta go. I know. I just need a minute to say goodbye. You've, Lily, you've had more. We're good. Okay? Alright. Yeah, this is good. Shit, he's gonna get us all killed. Yeah, Kenny's not thinking right now. He is not using his brain. Oh, goodness, Kenny. Oh, my gosh. And we will find out what Kenny's got in mind next episode. Thanks for watching, everybody. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, like, favorite, and subscribe. This was The Walking Dead Definitive Series. And next episode, we are going to hopefully get out of this, reunite Kenny with his family, and hopefully this will all just blow over. Although I'm, sh I'm assuming Lily is not going to be happy about the result of that. But until next time, I will see you guys then. Bye-bye.